all of a sudden he's gonna swim like out of the blue. He's gonna come right towards me. He's gonna be like, oh my god, and he jumps out of the water and it's a huge fish and his name is Gjorg. And he's a gargantuan masked fish and we're gonna have to fight him and we're gonna have to do it without dying because I don't have any fairies in the bottle. But actually, I'm just kidding. I do have a fairy in a bottle. So anyway, so what you, your best bet is watch for the bubbles in the water. Just go in circles and when you see the bubbles, you know he's there. And uh, oops, that's not how it's done. Lock off. Do not stay locked onto him when you're in the water. Cause see, then this will happen. And uh, I can't put on the mask while he's in the shoot. Oh, Lori. Wow, I forgot about the timer. See, when he eats you, he takes off two hearts of damage. That's a lot of freaking damage. Okay, so let me equip my arrows here, but I'm actually going to put the hook shot over here, just in case I need it. Now, like I said, there's a number of different ways to do this. His pattern is going to mainly be he's going to ram against the thing and try to knock you off. But if you can hit him somehow with arrows, you'll hear it when he uh, actually takes the hit. So uh, then you kind of just swim towards him and use the electricity on him. And then you got to get back away before he has a chance to eat you because he's going to. He's going to try. Ah, oh, and that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. He got me. Damn it. Oh, I thought you could use electricity when he was eating you, but I guess not. I heard a rumor that you could, but no, that's not true. <laughs> well, at least we know that now. So then we get back on the platform again, see where he's going. This boss is quite a pain in the ass. He actually, you know, he was the reason I couldn't finish this temple the first time I tried. I mean, I sat there and died to him, like, so many times. Alright. Just make sure and listen for the sound of his groaning in pain. Otherwise, you don't know. There we go. Alright, get back on the platform. He has a chance to eat you. If you can actually make that jump and land up there like I luckily just did now, then you're good. I don't know why I hesitated for so long there. The problem is, yeah, see, when he tries to ram the platform, he knocks you right off. And even if you're halfway on the land, sometimes he'll still successfully eat you. Which sucks. So try to stay towards the middle of the platform if you know he's about to ram. And once he does, then you can start like looking for him real quick. And if you don't find him right away, get back towards the middle so he doesn't knock you off next time. I can't see where he's coming from. I'm looking for the bubbles. There he is. Shit. Back away, back away. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> stay out of the water, whatever you do. Just... Shit. Holy crap. Didn't expect him to do that. What I used to do was, and this is another way that you can do it if you want, is try to lock onto him, and when he comes toward you, like hit him with an arrow or the hook shot, and I used the hook shot at one point, but I think arrows are actually a little bit more effective as far as, you know, being quick. So, uh... Now we've unlocked the cutscene, he's gonna release, uh, some small piranhas to come after us, but that's not such a bad thing. Because if you manage to, uh, kill them... Oh, I guess he just ate me again. Shit. <laughs> now we're down to four hearts. That's not good. Just get up there, just get up there. Don't worry about trying to swim. Ugh. I don't think he'll ever eat you twice in one go, but I've, I, I wouldn't put it past the bastard. Seriously, he might do it. Shit. Alright, lock off now, otherwise you're gonna... Yeah, because if you don't... Ah, ugh, this guy is so annoying. It's like, dude, I didn't know you were so hungry. Yeah, also make sure you don't get caught in the water with low hearts, because you don't have so much time to hold your breath. If you're low on hearts, you're not going to be able to hold your breath for as long, and you might just die instantly. I'm sure glad I got that fairy in a bottle. I didn't... I honestly didn't think I was going to need it, but... Shit! There you go! See, I was just trying to look and see how, how close he was to doing it because he was just sitting there doing nothing. Oh, man. Are we going to have a repeat of Ocarina of Time here? I don't know why this guy is so hard to lock onto. I sit here and... Okay. See, once you get locked onto him, then you get knocked in the water, so you have to lock off. Otherwise, you can't see what you're doing, and then this happens. Ugh. Just kill me. Thank you. I was gonna say, we might have a repeat of what happened in Ocarina of Time. Not with this fight! Damn straight. Jeez. What do I look like, a freaking machine? I mean, I don't know. How can you possibly always know where he is? I, I mean, sure, I see the bubbles, but by the time you see the bubbles half the time, he's getting ready to ram. Well, sure, you know, the moment I aim the arrows, man. 
Well, now I know where he is, so I can actually do something. That's the hardest part, is just finding out where he is. There. Now, let's jump down and... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now he's gonna start coming after you right away. He's gonna piss him off, so... There we go. Okay, now where is that? You can pretty much get him, like, right away again if you want, but if he's, like, already halfway to the platform and he starts to ram it, you're gonna have, like, no time to actually react, and then he's gonna knock you in the water, so... I mean, if I would've gotten the hang of this a little bit sooner, I'm actually getting the hang of it now. It's been too long since I did it. Three whole weeks. There. He's gone! Fish fry, anyone? <coughs> I guess the pain is too much, he's trying to kill himself now, he's a fish out of water. He doesn't want to breathe anymore because the pain is too much, he's trying to kill himself. The pain, the pain, the pain. God, I'm glad that's over. Holy cow. Man. Lucky thing I got all those heart pieces. Good lord. And here's our third mask. Our third, uh, remains mask, I guess you could say. The innocent spirit that this dark mask once held. This is gonna take so long to edit all together. Oh my god. Oh, do we get to hear that song again? <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Hey, listen, we want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. Help. Our. Friend. Can you talk any slower? Like, seriously. <laughs> that reminds me of this radio contest they had one time, where you had to call somebody you know, and talk like really slow and see how long you could keep them on the phone before they hung up and this one girl won by calling her dad and she's like hey dad and he was like what the hell are you doing you could tell he was just like totally anti-free will the way he reacted to it it's like so what are you doing what the fuck you know just being a person okay you're resting in peace all right evil haunts this land is not completely vanished thank you you're gonna enjoy Lulu's voice a bit longer, but it's two in the morning. She should be in bed. Lulu, you should be in bed. Oh, wait, Lulu's not here. Well, you know what? I'm actually gonna save my game and call it a video. Call it four videos, actually, because holy crap. So, yeah. Oh, no, no, I need to turn in those fairies. You know what? I better remember to do that next time. I better. Should I go ahead and do that now? No, I'm gonna save it for next time because this is uh, this is gonna be 45 minutes long by now, maybe even 50. I don't know, man. Okay, so that's all for this episode or these episodes of Majora's Mask. Thanks everybody for watching, and I uh, hope you've had a good time watching me get my ass kicked. So see you next time. Bye bye.